and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Over the weekend, Jamie Markey was at a convention and we have a photo here. Again, we do not know what the rest of the day was like. We can only go by what this person has said. And we're going to take a little look at it and it's quite interesting. So we got one here, so it's by P, <laughs> P. Dills. 112 on Twitter, thank you very much for this uh, photo. It was like this all day. Three crying laughing emojis. And as you can see, in the centre is Jamie Markey's booth. And there's no one there. Again, we do not know what's going on. This could have been a break for her, that's why there was no one there. But nearly every single con I've gone to, people are always waiting in line, for even if they've gone off on their break or whatever. And it's quite interesting to see because even her personal assistant there, which is what we've been told this person is, that they are Jamie's personal assistant, is that you look at this and you think, yeah, there's no one there. But the way I like to look at this is on either side, there's other people. You've got Caitlin Glass and you've got Tatum on the other side. We can't see any people there. But for Caitlin Glass, it does look like they may have people there waiting. We're not too sure. But... It's just nice to see that Jamie Markey, who Kitty you know, has done what she's done, out of all this situation has gone on, I think she's the one who will probably feel the sting the most. I think mostly because of the way she's come out and said that, you know, oh, he pulled my hair, or he ran his fingers through my hair, grasped it, and he pulled it, or whatever. And everyone's like, yeah, that's not going to work. Because... The thing that I keep coming back to, I've said this in numerous videos before, and I am sorry if I keep saying it, but the way she's described everything that happened, that it was in, in the lobby of Funimation Studios, and in a lobby, there is always a security guard and a receptionist. They would have seen all this happening, and supposedly there's no witnesses to what's happened. All we got is her word. But again, this day and age, People just see, oh, well, she's telling the truth because she's a woman. And everyone's saying that the guy's lying. That's not how these things work. And because I I personally do think that she's lied about all of this. Because all she has said that, oh, he pulled my hair. Is that it? And, you know, it's like, again, people, you know, on their side, like, oh, we got tons of evidence that he's done this to Jamie. He's done that to Monica. Well, where is the evidence? And they're like, oh, well, it's under oath. You know, they swore testimony. Okay, so they lied. Because people have come out and said, no, it never happened. We've seen evidence of Jamie all over VM. At convention panels, at other shoots and everything else. And when you see these videos as well, and you can, just, you can see between them the chemistry, the, the friendship, all this stuff between them. And they're just like, yeah, this is great. Then all of a sudden, something has happened. And it's like, oh, how dare you do this? And just getting back to that photo, you can actually see it's literally, it's, it's dead. And this person who took the photo, they have said they were at the convention all day. They went back and forth towards Jamie's uh, booth every now and again to see it. And it was always dead. That's the personal thing there. I really do think that she will get the brunt of everything now because people just will not like her. She has accused so many different people now of doing things, and especially the way she has acted towards fans on Twitter. People who just remaining neutral, she's had a go with them. And that is going to lose her money, it's going to lose her contract for a job, because I guarantee it, in about a year or two, because nothing will happen with all of this, it'll stay the same, and they'll be like, yeah, we want to get someone younger now, we want to get someone with a younger voice. And we want someone who actually isn't putting their agenda into the scripts. Because we've all seen that she has changed a few words to suit her own agenda. And just have a little stab at the community. Which again, when you hear this person and Monica both saying, We want to heal the community. We want to do this. And you go ahead and you just rip all your fans a new one on Twitter. That's like, yeah, there we go. That's a true person there. That's someone who likes their fans. It's not. These people just do it for the money. 
That's all they do it. And because they probably thought, oh, you know what? Chris at bat, he's guessed all these good things. I'll go say hello to him. I'll sit on his couch or whatever, and we'll just get along. But it's, it's very interesting to see that this photo has been posted, and there's been no other photos of her lines whatsoever. We've seen Monica try it. When she tried taking a photo in the hall, which, again, she did have quite a few fans in there, which, again, it is nice to see that, the, you know, the people who were not taking sides, which, again, we know that some of them were, that's obvious, that's a given, but the majority of the people who were on Jamie and Monica's side at this moment in time, a lot of them, they do not care about anime. They are the ones who do not go to conventions. These are the ones who do not watch the shows that they voice in. Because these people, they just like to see the first bit of outrage and they just go for it. These are the same ones who were doing comic skate and all of that. And they don't even read comics. You know, that's the thing. They just like arguments because they just like to put people down to make themselves feel better. That's what they do. And that's the end of that. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you wonderful people soon.